Hello Pisces, welcome to the channel and this is going to be your monthly tarot reading May 2018. So five cards spread, the first one is showing up the topic for your <clears throat> months of May. The second card is showing up the opportunities you can go for by your choice. The third card does expresses the best course of action. The fourth card shows up the challenges that you need to overcome during this uh, month. And the last one shows up the overall result or the final outcome, it is how readers call it. Alright, so we have the Ace of Pentacles as a topic of your month. So obviously this card is a very positive, guys, and the Ace of Pentacles points the start of improving one's circumstances in a sense of material gains and stability. That being said, when the, when the Ace of Pentacles plays a role of a, a topic, then you can expect to become more and more successful into your business or into your career, and as well you can expect to increase the harmony into your relationship <clears throat> based on not just the confidence but also the growth of uh, of trust that happens in between you and your partner the ace of pentacles is one of the card pointing that you are about to find something of a, a value for yourself as you can see here out of trouble or clouds a, a hand presenting you a, a a thing of value that you can start working for very important however to be known as well is that this thing is given only to those who deserve it that being said that probably you have put a great deal of toils until now so now in May the results of those toils start taking place and you actually have something to look forward to and something to work for so you can find yourself you know into a much better better position and in a much solid and secure state than you are finding yourself right now but you cannot again escape the success into your career and as well the harmony that you are going to establish either into your relationship or or with a an interaction with a person that is a, a person of interest for you then we do have things you can go for and that is the ten of wands so the ten of wands again supports the idea of awesome opportunity coming in your way uh, but here that opportunity will require a lot of devotion and that was a hint as well into the ace of pentacles but i didn't want to presume here the toils are real guys and you will have to put great efforts into it efforts which are going to uh, <clears throat> repay to your uh, to you however these efforts require for you to act upon a certain code of conduit which means that you will need to follow certain rules which are adopted rules they are not your rules and as well this card also speaks for that you need to um, in order to be uh, to maximize your success you need to as well put some efforts to please others like pleasing your boss like pleasing your supervisor or pleasing you know the person of interest or your partner but nonetheless this card comes up as a, a challenge you know of the great busyness here and aggression as well to um, to maintain and control the situation and the best way to control one situation and control one person is not to be opposition to them but to put the effort into pleasing them so next time you want something from them they cannot say no to you and uh, <clears throat> with this card you will become a, a good friend again with those who calling the shot into your career and um, you will strengthen the bond in between you and the relationships that you are exerting at this particular point into your uh, private life then the next card is pointing up to the best course of action for yourself and that will be the ten of swords and in this particular case there is no better card guys because that card in this particular um position points that you need to break clean with the past of yours and especially that past which made which made you feel very bad which made you feel very unworthy and which made you feel betrayed that being said you should leave any uh, thought even of recuperating a, an old relationship you know and especially that I'm not talking about that kind of an old relationship which ended up on a mutual agreement but an old relationship in which you have been um, abused, in which you have been betrayed, in which you have been, um, you know, 
molest it as well if uh, in case you have uh, found yourself into a such state because here we could have a an approach of ex who actually treated you very badly and they are bruising upon you right now uh, for trying to establish again uh, to regain back control upon you and now you are the one who needs to control uh, the situation and how you do that by radical measures take a restraining order uh, call the police etc etc it is just you need to show to these people that you will tolerate uh, their um, <clears throat> their noxious behavior and destructive behavior no more and that being said you will show them that you are one perfectly capable to take care and defend themselves with any means that the law and the universe in that fact gives you also the ten of swords is about taking uh, irrevocable decisions here you know and once taken you should not deviate from that particular uh, aim that you have placed in front of yourself and as i said the aim needs to be maintaining control upon your life and upon your situation but pleasing the people that you depend on uh, because this way guys you are going to have stability and you are going to achieve a, a very solid standpoint either into your career or either into your relationship and then we do have the challenges that you need to overcome and that will be the four of uh, the four of wands so here the challenge stands uh, as a point that um, something have been overlooked all right and this comes a little bit as a crisis so you make your irrevocable decision but as you make it you realize that oh my god i had to do something before that this is the the role that that card plays here and that being said you may find yourself in a little bit more frantic I am um frantic state you know <clears throat> but in the same time the four of wands as a challenge points that your efforts are going to be rewarded inevitably however as standing as a challenge the efforts will be more than you have anticipated so kind of like the uh, the toils will catch you off surprise and you will start uh, thinking for yourself oh my god is this not have any end already you know and oh my god it's kind of like uh, no matter what i do it's kind of it doesn't have any progress well it does have progress guys it is just it requires more and more devotion devotion so for what it seems just with these four cards here is that you're going to um <clears throat> embark the month and go through the month guys by getting more and more power by more and more presence by more and more uh, control upon your personal situation but by but not by an, an aggression unless you are not approached by someone who wants to be aggressive against you but by slumbering the other people with kindness with love and with readiness to please them in a certain way so afterwards as i said they cannot say no to your propositions it is just don't be uh, with a way uh, with way too high expectations for the time being you just go with the flow go along with uh, your situations all right and uh, <clears throat> whatever happens here when we do have the four of wands and the ten of swords next to one another do not rush to celebrate your victory all right it is just when you capitalize on your victory then is the time to celebrate it because you may um, find yourself celebrating something that it is not quite done yet all right and then the results of all that is, is we have the seven of cups so the seven of cups in that particular case points that you will have a certain clearance here to start planning seven of cups in this particular position as a follow-up of those four cards points that everything is possible after you regain maintain and uh, further down the road your control upon the situation by also clearing up here with the ten of swords the noxious people of your life and uh, <clears throat> being capable to foresee what was overlooked in the past and stabilizing it again reaching harmony into your relationship and success into your business nothing seems impossible anymore but however with the seven of cups it is it is very important not to uh rush it all right and not to straight for it but rather take on this new path for yourself Pisces or that of these aims that now are clear to be achievable with slow and steady step and very carefully plan your strategies because seven of cups as beautiful as can be in your case that says everything is possible is also a card pointing of a, a great 
of a grave danger of making steps toward the unknown and you may find yourself in a wood surrounded by wolves all right so do not rush ahead and do not take unnecessary risks afterwards guys but always think it through always deliberate upon that situation always stay to the logical explanation of the enterprises you are encountering all right and uh, <clears throat> always be prone to look at one situa situation from all, every uh, every point of view because your point of view could be celluloid the point of view of your partner could be celluloid the point of view of the people could be celluloid and only uh, by you being prone to see the situation as I said from any kind of point of, from every point of view excuse me then you will be able to see the true face of the opportunity of how you can be successful how you can capitalize on that opportunity and what kind of approach you need to take so you do not overlook again a important matter and you leave it unfinished that being said Pisces this was your tarot reading for the upcoming month May 2018 I hope you guys enjoyed it and you liked it and in case you're interested in a private reading with me everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video Rat signing out now see you next time bye